Hey there, this is a Draven counter video intended to fill you in on everything you need to know to deal with Draven when he's on the opposite team. If there's a champion you find yourself struggling with in your solo queue games and you're tired of banning it, then feel free to drop a comment and let us know. If you're interested in learning more about Draven or any other champion, then head on over to the Mobilytics website where you can see everything you need to know including builds, combos, pro builds, tips and more. So first off, what does Draven do? Draven is a high damage burst marksman. He excels in skirmishes and duels, and he's also a strong snowballer due to his Q's high bonus AD ratio and his passive gold contribution. Now to hone in on that, the strengths of Draven are his high damage and lifesteal make him very punishing when ahead. He's great in lane due to high burst damage and the extra movement speed he gets from his blood rush, and his outplay potential with high damage, mobility and lifesteal make him tricky to take out. Draven's weaknesses are he's difficult to play mostly due to the fact that his damage is reliant on him catching and juggling his axes. His snowball can be prevented or heavily slowed down if he gets killed before cashing in his passive as he'll lose 75% of the stacks on a death. He also doesn't have an escape and his movement can be predictable due to seeing where his axes land before he catches them. We're going to dive in specifically how to counter Draven, but first here's an overview of the major tips that we'll be breaking down further in this video. So first up, Watch his axes. When playing against Draven, you can play around his axes to predict his movement, and this can be a key way to shut him down. Second, CC him. Draven thrives when ignored, so make sure to use that CC and lock him down. He's insanely vulnerable to it, as he doesn't have any mobility aside from a movement speed boost. Be careful of his E. Draven's E can interrupt your engage or your escape. Make sure to be aware of this as it can make or break your lane. Anti-heal. It's the name of the game when playing against Draven as his lifesteal is huge due to the damage he does with his Q. Preventing his healing is a huge factor to shutting him down and stopping him from 1v5ing. And finally, remember his global ultimate. No matter where you are on the map, Draven's ultimate can always catch you out. Don't forget about it. If you're going into a game against a Draven, these are solid bases to remember and will help you be successful. It's always good to think about when a champion is strongest or weakest. Draven is strong in all of the early mid game, but thrives most in lane. Due to his early damage, he can outtrade almost all matchups, giving him a huge advantage in those early stages. Now, Draven isn't necessarily weak late game, but he can struggle to get his damage out in team fights easily, unlike some other AD carries. He also essentially loses his passive when he has six items, so he does have a disadvantage compared to other champions, particularly heavily scaling AD carries who may outrange him. Now, let's dive a little bit into Draven's early game, where he is pretty difficult to handle. So, first off, if you are going up against him, look to punish his Q. When Draven misses an axe in lane, you'll want to use this opportunity to trade with him. He essentially gets a free BF sword and damage with his Q, so when that's not up, you can force and punish him for it. Respect his XP leads. Due to Draven's strength in lane, he'll be constantly looking for kill opportunities. Most of the time, he'll try to get a level advantage and then all in you before you level up. Be aware of when the minions are dying and be careful not to get bursted. This is particularly threatening at level 2, especially as a lot of supports get a big power spike when it comes to their engage combos. Watch his axes. As Draven is super strong at trading, you'll want to look to avoid that and instead try to poke him down when he's preoccupied. If you're playing a champion like Ezreal, you can look to use your Q to hit him when he goes for axes. This can be a great way to whittle Draven down and prevent him from being a lane bully. Alternatively, if playing a champion with a skill shot CC like Thresh, this can be a great opportunity to land it when he is focused on catching his axe. Focus him at all times. Sometimes in lane you'll switch focus to the support or even jungle if it's a 3v3. When laning against Draven, it's essential to take him out first before he can get any kills. If he gets a kill after farming for a while, he'll get a ton of bonus gold from his passive. Preventing this will stop him from snowballing and getting out of control. If you are playing support into him, prioritize using your ignite or exhaust to reduce his damage output or increase the chance that he gets taken out. Moving on to the mid game where hopefully Draven hasn't snowballed too hard. So first off, save your CC and cooldowns for him. In the mid game, Draven will likely have a ton of damage and be looking to force skirmishes and fights. You'll want to make sure you're using your big CC abilities and summoner spells like Exhaust on Draven to prevent him from being a huge threat. Take out his peel. Although Draven can do it all by himself in certain situations, most of the time in the mid game he's very reliant on his support and other teammates to peel for him and keep him alive. If he has a support like Janna, you'll want to try and take her out to prevent him from having that extra person defending and buffing him. Particularly if you're able to catch your support out warding alone, it's a great way to turn the fight into a 4v5 and limit the peel available to Draven. Be careful of his ultimate. As we mentioned before, Draven's ultimate is not something you want to forget. Grouping up while taking out a dragon might be the perfect start for a fight for Draven. 
Not only does it deal a large amount of damage, it also stacks his Conqueror quickly if he's running that rune, and overall can set up a great initiation for Draven to run Havoc. It also can give him a huge cash boot if it kills someone after he's farmed up his passive. Make sure you're always thinking about his ultimate and don't let it catch you off guard. Moving on to the late game. First up, stack up. Aside from his ultimate, Draven's damage is mostly single target. By stacking up and staying with your frontline, you'll have a much better chance of preventing his damage due to his low range. You'll have to switch to a high risk, high reward playstyle if he wants to deal damage, and therefore this makes him easier to shut down. Flank him. Draven will be focused on catching his axes and fights, alongside kiting and dealing damage. When flanking Draven, you can catch him out while he's most focused on juggling his axes and easily take him down. Draven is one of the most punishable champions depending on his positioning as his main form of ability comes from when he's chasing down targets. It becomes a lot harder for him when he's on the back foot. Prioritize him. Draven is one of the champions that if you forget about, you'll regret it. Despite his weaknesses late game, he still deals a ridiculous amount of damage if left alone, particularly to squishy targets. You should always be looking to take him out of the fight as soon as you can, whether that's catching him out or just making him the primary focus in teamfights. Obviously, if they have multiple high damage threats, you may have to juggle a few targets, but Draven will always be a huge threat and can easily turn a fight out of his head if he's not taken out. Finally, onto items to build against Draven. So first off, the obvious choice is armor. Getting armor is the simplest way to bring Draven's damage down. Certain items like Thormail and Vandervan's Omens are Draven's worst nightmare. Anti-heal. This is by far the most important itemization when against a Draven. His lifesteal is insane with certain items and will definitely make him much harder to shut down. A key thing to remember is that the extra damage in his axis scales with lifesteal, so he's able to heal so much even off a single auto attack. Serpent's Fang. This item actually depends on build paths and certain champions being in the game. If Draven has an immortal shield bow or a bloodthirster and a support like Janna or Lulu, this can be a really useful item to shut him down. That wraps everything up for our Draven counter video. If you enjoyed this video, then you can find more counter videos on our website or in the playlist link below, and be sure to subscribe to be alerted for when we cover a new champion. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again.